Okay, so I've just stuck a piece of sellotape over that join. It doesn't have to go over the other side, but if you want to, it might make it a bit more secure. And then you've got a nice long strip, zigzag strip, like that. And then what you're going to do is um, imagine that you're creating a journey of some sort so it could be a journey along a road it could be a journey along a river I've got a lovely book called a river that's probably the wrong way around there you go and it's a book about a girl in her room who's rather bored i think and she sits and looks outside her window and she sees the river outside her window and then she imagines where it's going to take her and it takes her through a stream of busyness, through the factories, and then out into the countryside, fields and animals, into the hills and valleys. So there are trees and hills. And then along and down a huge waterfall, and she goes down the waterfall and then into a jungle. You can hear all these animals as well and tiny little details. There's a tiny little cheetah down there. Deep in the jungle, it's very dark. And then it opens out into the mangroves, into the ocean. So she's ended up in the ocean. So you can imagine, there we go, and then she's out on the sea looking into the sea with the creatures in the water. Oh, and then it begins to rain. There's a bit of a storm brewing. And she can't see where she is. And then she can hear raindrops on a window. And she realises she's in her room. And she's been in her room all the time, but she's been daydreaming. Looking through those raindrops on the glass and gazing out across the sleeping city. So she's been on this lovely imaginary journey. So try and imagine where you're going, whether you're going on in a river, whether you're going along a road, and you can create this journey. And what you're gonna do is you can draw a sort of outline of where you want the river to go, first of all, if you want to. So you might, if it's a river or a road, I'm gonna just sort of have this river winding along. I'll just stop it there for now. And my river might start off small and then get bigger, smaller, Ooh. and wind along. And I'm going to try and imagine what I'm seeing. And first of all, I might see some houses. And what I'm going to do is use this piece of paper that you've just created. I'm going to cut the shapes out. And I'm going to start by cutting out some shapes of houses. And then using those to stick along the edges of my river. And all I'm doing is, and you can draw the shapes on first if that's helpful, but it might be Sometimes it's easier just to kind of cut and draw with the scissors. So I'm just making simple little kind of house shapes that I'm going to stick along the river first of all. So starting off like that. Maybe they could be at different heights rather than all in a line. Or you might want to overlap them. And then you can start to tell a bit of a story about where the river or the road is going to go. So you might want to put big skyscrapers in or you might want to start cutting out trees. So I'm going to use a different part of this paper where it's a bit greener. And I'm just going to cut out some simple kind of tree shapes. start having some little trees along the edges as well. If they're too big, just, you know, 
chop bits off or trim them a bit if they need to be a different size. That square there I might just stick on to one of the houses and use it as a little door. So you can start to use your imagination a little bit with these shapes. And then you'll start to build, yeah, so then you'll start to build a bit of a picture as you go along. And you can start to fill this white with your journey. And if you want to, when you've done all the sticking or just before you stick them on, you could paint the background just with a sort of simple colour that perhaps changes. It could change from green through to blue, through to red. So you could have a sort of daytime and then turns into a sunset. And you could just tell the story of this journey along the road or the river. See how you get on. Okay, have fun. <laughs>